All right, uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, E-Pass system. It stands for Electric uh, Power Assisted Steering. It is something that Ford uh, implemented first in 2011 on the Mustang, and it gives numerous advantages over hydraulic power assist steering. Uh, namely, it weighs about 37 pounds. You're not relying on a uh, hydraulic system, which inherently has a little bit of slush. Um, to steer you get instant feedback um, and it allows it to program the car a little bit to, to behave differently depending on uh, the mode you have selected. So <clears throat> what we've been noticing especially in 2011 which is the first year they implemented was steering wheel shake um, between 60 and 80 miles an hour um, likely from overcorrection by the programming in the steering rack itself. It has a little separate uh, computer and it changes its behavior based on um, I imagine this the mode you have selected so normal mode sport mode or just advanced track off completely um, currently my setup is I'm running 17 by four and a half inch Ford star wheels in front um, I, they're hub centric wheels I have the washers removed off of the lugs so there's no um, issues with the wheel mating to the hub um, the tires are brand new, they've been balanced, um, require very little weight to balance them, and they're uh, 28 by 6 Mickey Thompson Sportsman uh, street rods, just aligned, zero degrees toe, factory caster, and about uh, negative 1.5 degrees of camber. The rotors are fine, uh, the brakes are fine, there's no shutter under braking. Um, so I've been racking my brain and I read uh, on Vorschlag's uh, blog about how they had issues with shutter um, after they went with sticky road race tires and polyurethane bushings um, the computer didn't know what to do um, in the uh, e-pass however there's been users that have been experiencing this issue without poly bushings without you know road racing tires and uh, so i kind of want to demonstrate that for you today now the fix is either, either to reflash uh, the unit with ids release 67.06 and higher and that's uh, TSB 10 tech 16 tech 4 and although that is for the GT 500 it's the same steering rack um, so maybe if you can reach out to your Ford dealer someone that actually uh, might give a damn uh, you could probably get that uh, tr at least try that firmware uh, excuse me software update if that doesn't work then your only option is a uh, boss 302 R rack which removes all the little nanny, like the nibbling, the crosswind correction that's built into that brain um, that kind of goes haywire whenever you change the uh, configuration from anything other than stock. Um, and that retails from Ford at around $1175, um, although I'm sure I've heard of people getting it for $900, uh, $999 around. Um, additionally, you could also try a newer rack, like from a 12 or a 13. I recommend a 13 if you can get one, um, maybe for 400 bucks, but that's not guaranteed to reduce uh, or to solve your problems. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off here, wait for this car to pass, and we're going to try and demonstrate this uh, with advanced track off first. Right. Sweeping turns tend to make it worse. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit more speed here.
really shaking pretty violently. Let me turn the advanced track back on. So my nannies are on now. Let's see if that fixes the issue. I'm trying to get my speed back up here. And no, it's not gonna happen. So either way, I can still feel the nibbling occurring. Um, I hope that helps and uh, let me know what you think.